can take your time and breathe every stroke. Uh, we stay in the same boat, but we change the distance and we change also the gender. We go to the woman over 500 meters. So this is going to be the K2 500 meters and quite a few of the athletes have actually been on the water uh, just a few minutes ago. They had their award ceremonies a few minutes ago, so it's going to be really, wow. How can they? Uh, how can they go with it? So Anna Hatch and Victoria Schwartz, they're a couple who've been together many, many times now. In the back, we know Victoria Schwartz is the actual the winner. Maybe you, have cut, we've lost the vision. Maybe you can hear the volume still. But we can go through the lists, and it's uh, second is going to be Manon Hostens and Sarah Gayu, Karatz and Kozak. Then it's going to be Fritz and Kreinstein, Carrington Ryan, Pavel Kulenska, Portela Viscolas. Estela Pasek, and then it's going to be Milicic Stavic. So they're lining up on the actual line. I think that was a local problem. So you hopefully you've got the, the pictures with you there. They're lining up to go in a minute. And the crucial thing is their favourites, probably Hungary in lane number three with uh, Anna Karatz, Danuta Kozak. Uh, but lane number five is Lisa Carrington, Caitlin Ryan. And who's going to be the first off here? Yeah, Portugal did a really good start. Um, I'm pretty sure they want to do their best race today in front of the home crowd. Uh, which gives them a, a lot of uh, power, hopefully additional power. But you really can see that uh, the New Zealand crew, Lisa Carrington, doesn't feel tired from the K1, it, it, it seems. So going up the track there, it is very much a case of New Zealand in your picture have taken it out the fastest. Germany's very much up there as well with uh, Yasmin Krins and Steffi Kreinstein. And the uh, Ukrainian crew, um, Pok Kulinovska is now in second position. So 250 metres gone and New Zealand, who were literally sitting down in front of us 20 minutes ago with an ice pack on Lisa Carrington's shoulders just to cool her off a bit, are taking control of this race initially. We would expect to see some very dynamic action coming up. They are coming up quickly. It's Anna Karas and Danuta Kozak who are in the second of their picture. These two boats really pulling ahead of the rest of them at the moment. Yeah, and Kozak is doing exactly the same thing as she does in the K1. Just showing her power in the second half. You can see that the stroke rate is not as high as the New Zealand crew, but they do it with more power with a long stroke. Now coming into the last uh, 70 meters, and it is neck and neck. This is New Zealand slightly in line, but the picture's a bit decisive, and it's coming into the last 30 meters. It's going to be really going to the line. As Hungry won it, Ooh. Oh, too close to call. Well, with five meters, five meters out, it was uh, Hungary. But with uh, a meter out, it maybe wasn't. We'll have to look at the replay and see actually what's happened. I think it was Hungary, but uh, it was really, really close. Yeah, what a great race it was. Uh, so spectacular and uh, that's, that's the, the cool thing about 500 meters, you have a really short race uh, where everything can happen um, and it doesn't mean when you're once in the leading position like right now in the start the Ukrainian crew that it means that you make a medal in the end and as you look at the, the Hungarian crew on lane 3 they, they really showed in the, in the second half that they are they are the best boat. They didn't show so much in the first half. And uh, it really seems like this is a victory for Hungary. But it's so close. We need to wait for the official confirmation. 
Looking around at the other commentaries, no one actually knows exactly. Yeah, in this picture, it looks like like New Zealand, maybe, but but let's wait. So hard to say. Two hundredths of a second for for Hungary. So there, there you go, one one forty three point eight six five. Yeah, two under the second. Carrington Ryan second and Fritz and Kragerstein in third place. Wow. So four hundredths of a second for the women in the K two two hundred meters and two hundred seconds for the for the thing. But no doubt about it, the actual winners are Danuta Kozak and Anna Karatz. What a great result. Wow, that's what you want, isn't it? Really <laughs> close and exciting racing. Absolutely. Unfortunately, the Portuguese didn't have their best day, it seems. They finished in eighth place, but I'm pretty sure that the spectators are still uh, really euphoric after the win from, from Pimenta. And uh, it's just impressive to see how how Lisa Carrington and the new Dakota can can show their world class performance two times in a row of in one hour. Amazing. So we're going to hear from the uh, if they're still able to talk. We're going to hear from the delighted uh, the delighted athletes. Well, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, bring on the Olympics. That's all I can say. K2 women, 500 meter world champions, gold medalists from Hungary. Anna Karaz, I've got to ask you to win the world championship and a gold medal and to be in a boat with Danuta Kozak. What an experience for you and congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. It was just... I don't know, it was so close that <laughs> we didn't even know that we became first or second. But I'm so happy now, just, it was a tough race. But yeah, we are just, just happy. <laughs> Danuta, two gold medals, two world titles in one day. Are you happy to be back? Yeah, I am happy. It's, uh, I love this sport, this uh, pressure and this uh, everything. It's, uh, I love back here and, and I very love racing. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot wait for the Olympics. Put your hands together for our gold, silver and bronze medalists in the K2 500. That's what racing's all about, isn't it? What racing's all about, Ian. Man, back to back, the two of those athletes in the K2s and then with their partners, it's so hard to do. You must know these athletes really well because the New Zealand girls can't stop hugging you. And <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, been coming here for a long time. I've met a lot of people there. And obviously the sport's full of just so many friendly, awesome people. It's easy to become friends with people out here.